Chitokoloki Mission Hospital in Zambezi District has one of the most advanced equipment for surgeries in the country. The success of this hospital attracts patients from as far off as Angola and the Democratic Republic of Congo. Paul Shalala recently visited the hospital and now reports. <music> An innocent-looking poster on the Zambezi Kabompo Road announces that you are about to branch off the main road and head to the famous Chitokoloki Mission Hospital in Zambezi. But you are immediately disappointed as you hit the road leading to the hospital. The gravel road is in part almost impassable, especially in the rain season. This is how it has been for over 100 years. However, the ride, though bumpy and uncomfortable in part, the stretch gives you a chance to feast your eyes on all kinds of wildlife. Chitokoloki Mission is an old settlement that is well kept, And the buildings around the mission, though old, carry the years of gracefully. And the buildings around the mission, though old, carry the years gracefully. Despite being in the middle of almost nowhere, the hospital is never short of patients. Beds are perpetually full and some patients do not mind sleeping on the floor. The hospital is crowded because all medical services here are free. Even the most complicated medical procedures are offered free of charge in these state-of-the-art theatres. This is why this mission is constantly overwhelmed. Founded in the early 1900s, Chitokoloki Mission Hospital saves about 10,000 patients per month. Of these, 20% are from the Democratic Republic of Congo and Angola. We got a lot that come over from Angola, about 20%. And we get people that are coming for specialty surgery, even for specialty that is done here from Congo or from other provinces when they organize a campaign of either whether it be orthopedics or, or plastic or things like this, that people come and they, they come from very far for these specialties, which we do maybe every month we'll have one special weekend where they will have a lot of concentrated surgery in one particular aspect. This old man is from Angola and he says he could not find specialist attention in his hometown. Okay. This man is coming from Angola with a condition of uh, right in Guayno Henya. What happens with right in Guayno Henya is um, there's a protrusion of uh, some parts of the uh, in the groin, there's a weak spot, and then they start protruding. So what happens is they repair them, the the protrusion, and so he's just coming from the surgery, which was done in the afternoon. Yeah. Some of the medical procedures done here are unimaginable. For example, this boy swallowed three keys and is from Chavuma, which is about 200 kilometers away. Lucky enough for him, he was rushed here and operated on. The keys were removed and is now recovering. Some of the equipment used in these medical procedures are not found anywhere in the country. According to authorities here, some operations conducted here are supervised by doctors based in Australia who offer advice in real time to medical personnel through the internet. It's a very modern machine. So it's very it, small but very powerful. Yeah. It has Doppler on it and we have all the scanners. We can do cardiac scans and small muscular scans mm -hmm. and maybe for hypertension and things. So you can take it up with you on a trip out to the Outland Clinics yeah. and it gives you a very accurate uh, measurement of the okay. 
These free medical services are highly appreciated. Patients come from as far as Lusaka and the Copper Belt. But the people who appreciate this facility more than anyone else are those who live around these parts. In this rural part of Zambezi, where government medical facilities have their own problems, Chitokoroki Mission Hospital is a lifeline for many. The hospital is doing a great job at school when we have activities, sporting activities, they are able to support us with a first aid kit, they are able to help us with the, any emergency, all necessities that we need, we are given from this uh, uh, hospital. So it is doing a tremendous job for us around here. The hospital, which is run by the Christian missions in many lands, CMML, is powered by 150 kilowatt solar power system which has enough power to even electrify nearby villages. The hospital also owns a plane, which it uses to evacuate as well as bring in patients from areas beyond Zambezi. Over the years, some of those who've served at Chitokoroki are interred at this gravesite, which lies a few meters away from the Zambezi River. Poshalala, ZMPC News in Zambezi District, Northwestern Province. <music> Authorities in Lufuanyama district are calling on the business community to consider opening up a filling station in the district. The 